the crisp novices maiden chase is next that's a really small field there's only five of them i think and it's a three mile maiden so let's hope we don't have too many fallers shallow and adams at the top for ben bonici finding alice for martin Dillon. hobson's choice kevin renahan october cat graham clutterbuck and twinkle toes for Stu gray so five of them then two newcomers and three that have had fruitless attempts at winning over the last six weeks and they're making their way towards the first with october cat the first one to show and they're all over with okay they're finding alice who jumped twice as high as was necessary and if she continues to do that she'll probably end up tailed off with october cat in the lead from hobson's choice and twinkle toes in Find Alice and shoulders have fallen already. October Cat's gone. So Graham Clutterbox horse is out. And it was already a case that everybody was guaranteed a prize if they got round. But now, with only four of them left, one prize will go unclaimed. And at the moment, Kevin Minahan is in the lead with Hobson's Choice. Find Alice second. Twinkle Toes third. And Shallow Adamson for Ben Benici fourth. So. Hobson's choice in the lead. They've got two newcomers and two that have been around a few weeks in this. And Hobson's choice is in front. Find Alice in second as they get to the fourth. And Shallow and Adamson and Twinkle Toes. You would think, without being disrespectful to Ben Benici or my own horse, that if either of these two newcomers are any good they should win this because finding Alice has been hacking round in the hunters and I think it's technically a novice I'm not quite sure I can't remember um, in fact this is a novice change isn't it so she must be anyway I've gone into waffle mode there's only four runners and Hobson's choice in the lead by about six lengths to finding Alice in second Sharon Adamson is in third and Twinkle Toes is and I need to be twinkle toed to get past the rest of them in fourth place. So they've still got two miles to go and an awful lot of fences to jump. And there's only four of them in it. And it's Hobson's choice who comes to this one in the lead. Jump that slowly, but he's still six lengths clear. We'll find Alice in second. And Shallow and Adamson in third as we get a look from the back of the stand. See them passing the big screen and out front of the circuit and Hobson's choice a good five or six lengths clear of the grey finding Alice in second and Shallow and Adamson is third and Twinkletoes is fourth and the leader went right through the top of that uh, Jockey did more to stay in the plate the lead is now down to a little more than a length and finding Alice and Shallow and Adamson and then Twinkle Toes, and there's probably now only five lengths between a lot of them as they go into the final mile and a half, and they've got half the jumping still to do. And over that ditch, they all go, they all jump that one nicely, though, with Hobson's Choice in front for Kevin Meenahan. Finding Alice in second, then Sharon Adamson third for Ben Benici, and Twinkle Toes for Stu Gray at the back. They come to the tenth, and over that one they go. Finding Alice was a little bit slow over it. And has momentarily surrendered second to Shallow and Adams and Twinkle Toes creeping up the inside. And it's almost three in a line there now, chasing the leader. Hobson's choice is five lengths clear again, despite a couple of mistakes. Skipped over that one nicely. Oh, and Twinkle Toes has gone. So oh, Twinkle Toes just looked like it was getting into the race and has shot the jockey out of the side door. So we're down to three now then as they get to the 12th. And over that one they go, and Hobson's choice is eight lengths clear of finding Alice and Shaloon Adamson, who both had plenty of chances to win already this season, remember. So Hobson's choice, that's the one your money would be on if you were betting in running, I think. And he skips over that ditch, Shaloon Adamson over it in second, finding Alice in third. And Hobson's choice is clearing the lead. Made a couple of mistakes, got about five more fences to take. Leads by five. Find Alice and Shadow and Adamson are regularly swapping over second and third place. And can Hobson's choice keep this up? I think if anything's going to beat it, it'll be the fences the way it's been going so far. He's made a couple of mistakes. 
Jockey's having a look around, see how far in front he is. He's got five furlongs and four fences to get through. Finding Alice is second, Shannon Adamson is third. Finding Alice is starting to quicken away from Shannon Adamson now as they come into this next one. And Hobson's choice was over a bit slowly. Finding Alice closing in second, Shannon Adamson trying to run on again in third, and now all of a sudden Hobson's choice isn't so clear in front, and Finding Alice looms up on the outside, coming to this third last, and over that one they go, a better jump by Hobson's choice, sees him go back two lengths clear, Finding Alice in second, the grey, then Shannon Adamson back in third, and it's Hobson's choice who's kicked on again, he's four clear again now, Finding Alice is trying to chase Shannon Adamson back in third, they're racing down towards the final two fences in now, and it's Hobson's choice who who's been in the lead all the way, he's four or five lengths clear, coming into the second last, gets over it nicely, Finding Alice jumps it quicker, Shannon Adamson's beaten, it's Hobson's choice from Finding Alice, racing down towards the final fence in now, and Hobson's choice has been in the lead all the way, Hobson's choice comes to gets over it nicely, Finding Alice jumps it better, they're racing into the final furlong, it's Hobson's choice, Finding Alice is beginning to get closer on the outside, Finding Alice is beginning to get up on the outside, and Finding Alice has gone on into the lead, racing into the final half furlong, and Finding Alice wins it from Hobson's choice in second, Shalun Adamson back in third, and they were the only three to finish, and Hobson's choice led all the way, and just got coloured after the last hour surely win before too long, finding Alice breaks her maiden, and that'll probably rule her out of the hunters for the rest of the season. So let's take a look then at the full list of the three finishes <laughs> it's a win for finding alice for martin Lidham. hobson's choice for kevin Reenhan was second shalun adamson for ben benici was third and the other two didn't get around